Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It seems like it's going so fast. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm doing updates every six weeks and it just feels like, like I don't know. I don't know. It's just going by fast to me. But thank God because I don't want it to be like a long, dreadful pregnancy. But anyway, welcome to week 13 through 18 um, week update. I actually have them all written down this time so it's going to be a little bit more organized i am going by week i think i like that better than to just be all over the place and just trying to remember things off of my dome because believe me pregnancy brain really is real and i have it so i actually have it week by week let's just go ahead and get into the video okay week 13 have that i have an increased appetite so i guess majority of my nausea was gone so I was ready to eat. Anybody know me, I'm an eater. I love to eat anyways, but um, the earlier weeks kind of made me feel like I couldn't enjoy my food as much and I didn't eat as much because I was afraid of getting really sick. But um, anyways, I did have an increased appetite around week 13. Um, I was craving red beans and cornbread with the meat in it, like red beans and we use turkey, so ground turkey and cornbread, I was craving. Um, and I was anticipating the gender, like by week, 13 i'm just like oh my god what am i having because i was so ready to have um i was so ready to go shopping i was just so ready just to know what it was and just call it a him or she or he or whatever i was just so ready to know what it was just so we could you know refer to the baby as him or her or maybe even its name uh, but i mean i thought the nausea was all the way gone around week 12 i still had it it was still lingering around. It wasn't as bad as before. Like, it wouldn't last all day. But I would have it. And I was just like, ugh, just go away. And it's not really, really bad. But it did make me kind of irritated. And, um, it did make me irritated. And, um, it was just annoying to feel that way. You know, you just want to feel yourself 100%. But it still had that lingering nausea around week 13. And I was just like, oh, I'm ready for it to go. Um, oh, yeah. Week 13, I did feel pressure in my vagina area. Um, it just felt like, I don't even know how to, like, it felt stretching. I don't even know how to explain it. It sounds weird, but, um, like the inside part, like, it felt like the muscles felt like stretching. I don't know the word, but, um, yeah, I Googled it and it was just like, that was normal. When I spoke to my doctor, the doctor's appointment, she said that was normal. It's just making way for baby, so... I didn't like that feeling, so I, yeah. Week 14, I have that I still had nausea. Um, I was just like, yay, second trimester, nausea's gone. No, it still lingered around week 14. Again, it wasn't as worse as the earlier weeks, but it was still there, and I just wanted it gone all the way. The movement was more evident. I remember, I remember when I filmed in the video before, I was like, am I feeling movement? And week 12, I felt like it was really soon. But it was very evident week 13. Like, I'm like, okay, yes, that's movement because it would be the same type of feeling. And I know that it wasn't gas because believe me, I know how gas feels. Like, when I have gas now that I'm pregnant, it's like sharp pains and it moves. I feel it moves until it comes out. So I know what the gas is. And so that movement was fluttering. And I'm like, oh, yeah, this is the baby. My energy came back around week 14. I was able to do things because before it was just like, um, sitting on the couch, laying on the couch, laying on the bed, eating out all the time, just really didn't feel like cooking, come home, laying in the bed, just didn't feel like being bothered, really, really tired. So my energy came back week 14. I was actually, actually able to clean, got up, cleaned the bathroom, I swept, I mopped, did a lot of things. I cooked more. So I'm like, yes, my energy is back. I'm kind of like myself again. I think the family was liking it because I was cooking more and interacting more because at first I was just like so tired and lazy. I didn't have any energy to do anything, to be a mom, a wife, a friend, anything. Week 15, I haven't notated that the nausea was getting better. So, um, but it was still there. And it was getting better, but it was still there. And I was craving pancakes. I hot pancakes. Like, I went and got a short stack. I wanted a short stack. I'm like, yes, I need it. Um, 
that's the main thing I was craving. Um, I didn't have to have the bacon and all of that. If I just had a short stack, I was fine. But the butter and the hot syrup, like I just been like, oh, I need a short stack. Um, so I was craving pancakes around that week. Um, that metallic taste, y'all. Oh my god! And I, it's, and to me, it wasn't necessarily metallic. It could have been, but I don't want to describe it as metallic. It was more of, um, let's just say, if I was to have ginger ale, the taste at the end of the ginger ale would linger in my mouth, and I would have to just drink constant water. I would just try to drink constant water to just like clear my tongue palate or something, just so it wouldn't taste like anything. But it's just like whatever I ate, that taste lingered until I drank a lot of water or until I ate something else. I hated that. That was really aggravating, and like to this day now I still have that but it's not as bad like it goes away real soon I don't have to do extra things to get rid of it it's just go away on its own eventually that I have lower back cramping and the vaginal pressure still um when I spoke with my doctor they pretty much I'm, I'm pretty much told if you're not bleeding and you're not having like cramping that's making you double over over you're fine I did like to talk to my doctor about these things just in case but um they're pretty much her number one answer is to drink more water so I just try to drink more water throughout the day to get rid of any cramping any discomfort or it might just come with it because again it's making way for baby my anticipation of finding out the gender was just even worse on that I'm like I guess because it was getting closer to us finding out and I was really wanting to see the baby and I'm like yes I'm ready to see him or her I haven't seen the baby since it was like seven weeks in my womb and it's just small it doesn't do anything it looks like a blob so i'm like i'm ready to see the baby i'm ready to see the baby or whatever i'm so ready to find out what it was and i'm like the holidays coming up black friday i want to shop for black friday i was just like man i need to know what it is but it was getting closer and closer to finding out and it was just killing me for some reason that week i needed roast i needed roast pot roast i didn't care where it came from i was willing to um just go to cracker barrel or um black eyed peas i just wanted some roast and i was really sad about the roast <laughs> like i was at the point where i was like okay if i don't get roast i'm about to, to cry i feel like i just wanted to cry because i really wanted some roast so bad and it was on a friday night and a lot of places that i go to have it available on sunday and roast takes some time to cook so i couldn't just get it right away by me cooking it so i'm like i need roast somebody help me find some roast the bottom of my stomach was very sore like um if I stay in one spot at one time like sitting down because I do sit down at work a lot um if I'm sitting down if I'm laying down anything that causes me to be in one spot for a while and then I have to get up I'm like not limping but I'm just like kind of trying to straighten all the way out without being sore like I was so sore at the bottom on week 15 that's when it just started to become um more obvious that I was sore down there and it's not down there but just like underneath my belly and um oh that's when i'm just starting to think okay this is a boy because i remember this pain with lj and i don't know if that just would be a pain period whether it was a boy or a girl but that right there was just like okay one day it was a girl one day it was a boy but i'm like okay this is a boy finding answer because i'm so sore down her just like i was with lj and it was causing me to walk kind of weird and i'm like i already got the pregnant wobble because um I'm walking funny because I'm so sore and I'm like I hope you don't, people don't think that I'm just over exaggerating like girl you just 15 weeks pregnant barely got a bump and you walking funny but no it's because I was sore down there in my stomach area um still sometimes had the pressure in the vagina so sometimes I would just be like walking weird because it was so sore down there <laughs> it's so funny I have this written down because this is weird um I don't remember this with LJ but I would moan while I'm asleep not like a weird moan, but I mean, not like a that kind of moan, but like while I'm asleep, like maybe when I'm exhaling, while I'm breathing, I'll make like a noise, like a little whimper. And one time I woke up and Trey was like staring dead at me and I just started laughing. I was like, did you hear that too? And he's like, yeah. He's like, I thought maybe you was in pain. I was trying to see if you was okay. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. Like, I, that's just the way I sleep right now. Every now and then I, I whimper and while I'm exhaling, while I'm asleep. I don't know what that is. And I don't know if that's a pregnancy sign, if I'm sleeping too good. I don't know. But I did Google that. And a lot of women said they had this same thing. So, I don't know what they may have to do with pregnancy. But, yes, um, I would whimper while I was asleep. I also uh, crave bean burritos. I love bean burritos anyway from Taco Bueno. But I really be wanting them now. Like, oh, I need a bean burrito. I have one at least once a week, every other week, something like that. I will go give me a bean burrito. <laughs> From Taco Bueno though, because they have the chili sauce and the cheese and it's so good. So yes, I did crave bean burritos. 
um i have an exclamation points i'm too hungry my appetite has really really picked up it's really picked up um i'm more hungry and i'm like oh i'm trying to replace my when i'm hungry i try to make try to make wise decisions you know like eat fruits snacks on snack on almonds um vegetables just something or at least i want to if i have it available i try to eat better so i won't be putting unhealthy snacks into my body because even though i'm pregnant yes i know that i will gain weight with the pregnancy i'm not i don't want to gain too much and i am thinking about after when i give birth i am thinking about how my figure will look after that i want to go back to where i was before if not better so when i do work out i'm just working on getting better for my pre-pregnancy weight and not trying to get to my pre-pregnancy weight if you know what i'm talking about like that's i don't a lot of people don't worry about that but i am i'm concerned about the way i look after i deliver i will give myself about six to seven weeks to heal and see how much weight would drop and then i will see if i have to work hard or not <laughs> most likely i will because i gained a lot of weight with lj i gained 40 pounds um and i really didn't lose all of it until he was about nine months and i don't want to go that route this time i want to lose it i want to lose it sooner and i'm older and i just have to remember that it may be a little harder to get off so that's why i don't want to just overeat i'm gonna be like girl i'm eating for two no i don't want to do that i just want to try to eat the same i'm still hungry maybe drink more water or have a um, snack as far as fruits or something i don't want to just like have a extra taco or a large fry instead of a medium like i don't want to increase my food like i'm gonna make more healthier decisions when it comes to eating and not only because of my weight it's healthy you know it's healthy for me the baby my body just all of it so i do want to even get better and i want to do exercise and i want to walk more and i want to um do some small light weight lifting because i don't want my arms to get real big <laughs> And I, yeah, I just, I'm obviously I'm worried about weight more than I should, but I mean, I'm just being honest. 16 and 17, just sore stomach. I don't have any comments for that. So it must have just been the same thing. Nothing different, just more and more soreness in my stomach. Week 18, the movements I have, you know, they were getting stronger. Like they're, of course, I know that these, what this are. They're moving up. They're not more flutters at the very bottom of my stomach. They're more closer to my belly button. It's a big kick, a big bump. It's a big something. Like one time I was driving and I felt a really big bump and I'm like, woo, you know, and now that's how I feel now when I'm driving, riding in the car anywhere, just laying there. I feel the baby constantly moving. Sometimes it's kind of painful, not really, really painful, but just like when you go work out and your muscles are sore and you stretch out that sore muscle. That's kind of how I feel when the baby's move, the baby moves when um, it's way down off in there because I have to think about the soreness of my stomach already and it's moving in that area but they did tell me that that's round ligament pain um because sometimes i do feel like little kind of like sharp pains and not that bad but kind of like some sharp pains um in my stomach area and crotch area and it was just like that's round ligament pain because my ligaments are stretching and moving around because of my uterus growing yeah I read a lot with this. I read a lot with LJ, but I read a lot now because it was so long ago and I feel everything. I feel like everything is going wrong whenever I feel something. So I read a lot to just try to read up and figure out what is going on with my body without getting my, my nurses and doctors nerves a lot. Cause I call every day. Oh, in week 18, Trail felt the first kick, bump, whatever you want to call it. Um, He had to kind of press down a little bit, but he was able to feel it. He, he felt it. Um, it's not something where it was a big movement. He was smiling and excited. And so he, he's ready for the baby to like move, move. Where he can see it, feel it. Don't have to try to catch it. He's ready for that. Um, a lot of people are telling me, even I realize it. And Trill says it. He was like, you know, you're all a baby. He's like, you're only your, the only thing that's growing is your stomach. I might start to look, I might, to me, I'm starting to look a little pregnant in the face now. Um, But you now my neck is still... <laughs> Yeah, my, my neck still, I think, you know, still kind of skinny. I'm not looking like this yet. I know it's coming. So I'm just trying to enjoy this little, what they call the honeymoon phase of pregnancy. Because, you know, the first trimester is sickness and all of that. And then the second trimester is like you finally have your little baby bump. The sickness is supposed to go away. And, um... And then third trimester, I know you're miserable because you're uncomfortable and big and you're just anticipating the due date. But 
we're not even there yet so i don't even want to think about that i'm looking at my nausea did come back i started feeling bad the day of the gender reveal which was um this past sunday and then i kind of felt m bad monday and tuesday and then like sometimes today i still get nausea is of course it's nowhere near like what it was even back in week 15 or 14 but i get the um i feel it sometimes i don't know what that is kind of feeling sick i keep my ginger ale on deck um I might talk to my doctor about it to see if she can give me something or some pointers or some tips just to ease that um, nausea because I don't be wrong and I'm just like, oh, don't tell me this is coming back. I thought it was gone. So this baby, this pregnancy is definitely different because I was sick maybe two to three weeks with LJ. That was it. Didn't get sick anymore. This baby is I'm different. always out of breath. Um, the smallest walks, talking for long periods of time like now, I'm always out of breath. So I'm going to just take these deep breaths to try to catch my breath because I be like, ooh, heart beating fast, out of breath, ooh. Yeah, and that's already starting. And I guess because my uterus or something is, you know, pushing up against my lung, so. <laughs> but that really is it. That's all the things I have uh, written down from week 13 to 18. I'm so excited. I'm getting further along. My belly is growing. I do want to let you guys know that when I get further along, I will um, start making maybe every three weeks. I will try to do them sooner if I'm not too tired or busy or whatever the case may be. I will try to maybe when I get to the third trimester, I will start doing every three weeks or maybe the last two months. I'll do every three weeks or something because I know it'll be more um updates because of course my doctor visits will get closer instead of every month i'll probably start going every two weeks so i think i update you guys every three weeks once i get further along the next video will be the next six weeks which will be, um, it'll be like eight week 19 through week 24. i am currently um what is today today is um today is saturday and this past wednesday i just turned 19 weeks so I'm like 19 weeks in three or four days. I will be at my halfway mark next week. Next Wednesday, I will be 20 weeks. I will be halfway there, 50% loaded, all the way, um, almost all the way there. I, I do want to show you my growing bump. Again, I said I was 19 days and I mean 19 weeks in like three or four days or something like that. Um, I'm definitely starting to get pointy. <laughs> that black line, I can't pronounce it. It's here. Hope it don't get any thicker because, oh, well, Jay, it was thick and nasty looking, but. Uh. So stay tuned for the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was a lot of information. It seems like as the videos go by, it's more and more information. Um, that's why I was like, maybe I should do every three weeks so the videos won't be so long and just full of me talking. But a lot of people like these videos, so give it a good thumbs up if you like. Please drop me a comment down below if you have any questions. Um, I guess I'll see you guys in six weeks. Bye.